Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are going to talk about Tostitos scoops. I'm gonna eat them when I'm done with this video. Tostitos are corn chips. They are made out of corn, but it's not just a chip in a bag. It's a lot of resources. A lot of resources go into this bag of chips. You just read about resources and the regions all have different resources in the United States. We're going to talk about corn chips. Where do they come from? Let's take a look. I got to put my corn chips down. I'm going to write up here, corn chips. Yum. Tostitos. Ooh, I don't know. I'll just draw one. These are the ones that are like called scoops. So they kind of have a wavy edge and they're speckled with the grains of corn. Not the best corn drawing, but that's okay. They still taste great. Let's talk about natural resources. Natural resources you just read are things that come from the earth. It's in the environment. We use it to get what we need. So it's things like water, soil, rocks, things, trees that just grow. So natural resources, that's what they are. So what natural resources might you need to grow corn? Think about it. What do you need? What do you need? It's a plant, right? So you definitely need to water plants. So that is one natural resource you need, water. All right, well, where do you plant the plant? Where does it go? In the ground, in the dirt. The word we use is soil. So another natural resource we would use is soil. Another one, what do plants need to grow? We can harness it for solar energy, but the plants need it for their energy, the sun. Now we also have the seeds. That's a natural resource, the seed. It gets a little tricky when farmers manipulate seeds and change them. They be kind of come a different kind of resource. It's becoming more complicated, but we're not gonna get into that. All right, let's talk about capital resources. Capital, it's not the capital city, it's not the capital state, it's not a capital letter. A capital resource is like a tool, a tool or a thing you need to, to use a resource. So we've got that plant, that big corn stalk growing. What are we gonna use to get it out of the ground? We need some kind of plow or tractor at the farm. That is a capital resource. Then once that corn goes to a factory to become a taco chip, the factory, the machines in the factory, the machines that bag the corn up, all capital resources. So I'm gonna say, factory machines, you know, at the Frito-Lay plant or wherever Tostitos are made. Let me look on the bag. Are they Frito-Lay? Oh, they are. So those capital resources would be at Frito-Lay. Let's look at the ingredients here. Corn, vegetable oil, and salt. How simple is that? Delicious. All right, another capital resource. Hmm. Oh, I know a capital resource. Where do you get your chips? Do they just show up at your house? No, you get them at the grocery store. So the grocery store is a capital resource because those, those um, if things are delivered there, they're picked up there. So we'll say the store. All right, moving over to the human resources used to get us that corn chip. Human resources, people, humans, me, you, the farmer, the factory worker, the grocery store worker. Those are all human resources. The people that do the work. So we have the farmer. We have the factory re worker. Oops, I spelled factory kind of funny. And we might have the grocery store worker, like who unloads it, loads it, checks us out. Grocery worker. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There is a list of the resources you need 
in your life to be able to enjoy those chips. You need natural resources like water and soil, sun and seeds. You need capital resources like the plow, the factory machines, and the store. You need human resources like the farmer, the factory worker, the grocery store worker. Now, just for fun, I want you to think about it. Think about hamburgers. Hmm, what goes into a hamburger? The beef, any toppings, the bun, the cheese. What resources are needed to get you that hamburger? Think about it. And as you eat through the week, think about, hmm, this, these Cheerios. What resources went into this Cheerios? Think about it. It's a big part of learning the regions in our country because the resources in our regions are all different and they all come together to give us everything we need. There we go. It's time to enjoy a Tostito.